So welcome to this Did You Know session. With modern applications, it's important that APIs are available 24-7. They need to be performant and they need to be actively working and responding correctly. This is a big challenge for development teams as they're developing these APIs and also operationally to ensure the APIs are always working. We're going to show you how BlazeMeter can help. So here we are in the API testing and monitoring screen. Now the first thing we need is a test. So we're going to import a test and as you can see from this list, we have lots of ways we can import APIs from your current specifications and we're going to use Postman. So we're going to choose the dump file that we've taken out of Postman and import it into API testing and monitoring. This will create all the tests from that collection. You can see there's several tests here and we're going to close this screen and go to the dashboard to show those tests we just imported. So these are the three tests. And what we're going to do now is just drill into this digital bank demo login and show you what's been imported and how we can then customize this test. So when we look at the editor, at the top we've got the environment settings and here we've got the variables we use for our test. And we can have global variables as well as test variables. We can then change the authentication methods used, we can add headers, we can change the behavior, how we talk to these APIs, and also choose the locations. So when we run the test, these are public locations. They can also be private locations you can use. We can then choose things like the webhooks and the integrations to send notifications should a test fail. And we can include test data. That includes CSV files as well as BlazeMeter test data. Now, if we look at the test we just imported, these are all the steps that came from the import file. So the first step is a post. We're gonna do a post to this URL using the variables we've defined. We're gonna do an assertion. So in this case, we're just looking for a 200 response response, but there are other um, sources we can check for. And then we need to gather the variables. And as you can see, there's lots of options where we can actually extract the variables, as well as running pre and post scripts for this particular step. Now we can then take that variable from our first post command and then use it in our second command. So in this get request, you can see in the header, we're taking the token from the first command and then passing it to the second command. And then again, we can build up the level here of make sure of the right assertions, as well as we have all these different steps where we can actually add additional steps to our test. Now, when we run the test, it's gonna run at all the locations we've chosen. So we chose three locations. So you can see here, this test is running. So the first step is doing that post where we're trying to get in our, our token. And then the second step, we're then using that token to then request the data from the API. And we can then drill into the responses. So if we look at this third one, we can see the response body that came back from the API. We can look at that. We can then obviously add assertions to that and do other extractions from that to add to our test. We also get the data from the connection. So which location it came from along with the performance details for that connection. Now, if we go back to the scheduler, we can now schedule this test. Now we can schedule it for every minute, every day, whatever schedule you need for your requirements. And you can add multiple schedules to uh, a test. In the results screen, you'll see the results of each test. You can see here which location, what the results were. And at the overview, we have the same view of all the tests. And we can initiate the test manually, as you can see there. So we've now run this test six times. And if we go back to our dashboard view, what we can see is each of those green bars denotes a test that ran and the status of the test failed, that green bar would be red. And we can drill into these. We can make the live source at the top, the APIs that are failing appear. So as you can see very quickly, API testing and monitoring is a very powerful tool for creating tests and also those running those tests and alerting teams if there's any failures. So for more details about BlazeMeter, please go to blazemeter.com where there's blogs, videos and BlazeMeter University with lots of free courses. Thank you.